Hey guys, Ambrosia here, and today we are gonna be talking about diamonds and seeing if you can tell the difference between a genuine diamond, lab-grown, moissanite, or just a cubic zirconia. So stay tuned as I go through all the differences, and we're gonna test you at the end to see if you can see the difference between each one. Okay, so we are going to start with genuine diamonds. Genuine means real. These are diamonds that you can find out in mother nature and they are created by taking a piece of carbon, having it deep, deep within the earth and adding a lot of heat and pressure and over billions and billions of years, these diamonds are finally created. And did you know that it takes about 200 to 300 tons of dirt to be able to, to remove, to be able to find just a one carat diamond? And even when you find it, it may not be jewelry quality. So with that, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort to be able to find a genuine diamond. But the great thing about diamonds are, is that they are very durable, very scratch resistant, because there is a Mohs hardness scale that we grade all diamonds and gemstones, your sapphires, your garnets, your quartz, and diamonds. So you start with a number one through 10 for the Mohs hardness scale, and 10 is a diamond. These are the most durable, hardest gemstones out there. So with that, the only way a diamond can be scratched is with another diamond. And that's actually how you cut diamonds too, is you use another diamond to be able to cut and facet a diamond. So they are very durable. Now be careful, you can still scratch and damage a diamond with a really hard hit. But other than that, these diamonds are just really strong. Like I said, they, they are indes almost indestructible and they are meant to last forever. You know, we hold on to our diamonds for sentimental value. These are stones that we hold on to be able to pass down for future generations. They are meant to last forever. And so with that, you wanna make sure that when you're investing into a genuine diamond, that you pay attention to the cut, the color, the clarity, because all of those things really play a big, in, big impact on the value of the diamond. So make sure to watch my other videos to learn more about the qualities of genuine diamonds. Okay, on to the next one are lab-grown diamonds. These are diamonds that are becoming more and more popular, even though they've been around for many, many years. So lab-grown diamonds are genuine diamonds just made by a, a man in a laboratory. So how they are created is you take a tiny little seed of a genuine diamond and you put it into a laboratory, add a lot of heat, pressure, sometimes even gases, and that little seed slowly starts growing into a big, larger diamond. A diamond seed is a very small slice of a genuine diamond. So very, very thin, very, very small. And as you guys can see, as you start adding heat, adding pressure, or adding gases, that little seed just slowly starts growing into a bigger diamond. Then you actually cut and facet them just like a real diamond. So basically you're taking everything that mother nature has made and just creating it into a controlled environment. So it's going to look like a diamond, it's gonna feel like a diamond, it's gonna have the same hardness as a diamond because it is actual the same chemical makeup of a genuine diamond. So the benefits of having it grown in a laboratory is you can have this controlled environment to create a larger diamond with a better color, a better clarity, and just a better quality overall. So it's a way that you can get that bigger, better diamond for a little bit less cost. Most lab-grown diamonds can be created within a couple of weeks, within a few months. But keep in mind that with lab-created diamonds, there are different qualities, different ways on how they are made, and you wanna make sure that you're investing into the right lab-grown diamond. So with that, if you guys want to learn more about lab-grown diamonds, comment down below and maybe we'll make another video for you. Okay, moving on to the next gemstone, we have moissanite. And moissanite is a whole nother stone all on its own. Originally, moissanites were made from minerals from meteorites. But today they are made with the same chemical makeup in a laboratory by man. So moissanite is made by silicon carbon while diamonds and lab-grown diamonds are made by carbon itself. So it's a completely different chemical makeup, but they look so much alike. 
So with moissanites, they are going to look really close to a diamond. They're gonna be almost as hard as a real diamond. On the Mohs hardness scale, they are gonna be about a 9.25, 9.5, while if you remember, a diamond is gonna be a 10. So they're really scratch resistant, hard, durable, really close to what a diamond's going to be. The great thing about moissanite is that it's a great way to have that look of a diamond, but be able to save a lot of money. So while a diamond, genuine diamond, could be several thousand dollars for one carat, you could be looking at only a few hundred dollars for a moissanite in the same size. So moissanites can actually be created in a whole rainbow of colors, and no, their color does not fade over time. And some people will argue if moissanites are more sparklier or give more sparkle than what diamonds are. Now, moissanites will have a higher reflective index, but diamonds and lab-grown diamonds have its own unique sparkle. A little bit more spurts of color compared to moissanite. And then last but not least is the cubic zirconia, or what most people know as CZ. These are a synthetic stone, so they are not genuine. It's just basically like a plastic material. So they are gonna be extremely soft. They can scratch over time, which causes it to get kind of like a hazy look to it. But you know what? Cubic zirconia works if you're looking to stay within a really small budget. So now that you guys kind of learn a little basics of all the genuine, lab-grown, moissanite, CZ type of stones out there to kind of give you a little recap of everything. So how I explain it is that genuine diamonds are a luxury item. Everyone wants them, everyone loves them, but not everyone can afford them. So if you imagine a genuine diamond is like a high-end luxury designer handbag. It's something that you save up for, and when you wear it, I mean, you just feel luxurious, you wanna show it off, everyone's jealous of you. That's what genuine diamonds are. So a lab-grown diamond, I treat it more like a name brand handbag. So it's not the high-end designer bag that everyone wants, but it's still a really nice handbag. So instead of spending a few thousand, I'll spend a few hundred for this really nice handbag. And you know what? It's still great, has great material, it's gonna hold up nicely, and it's a little bit more affordable. And then moissanites are more like your knockoff handbags. They look like the real thing, but they don't have the name. So instead of getting a Louis Vuitton bag, you're gonna get a Lyle Vuitton bag, whatever. So it's going to look really close to it. It's gonna you know, serve its purpose, but it's not gonna be a name brand or a high-end designer bag. And then of course we have the CZ, the Cubic Zirconia, that's basically like getting your handbag down at your local department store. Who cares if it gets all beat up, if straps start falling apart, it's so cheap you can buy another one. So with all of my clients, I sit down with them, really explain the differences between genuine diamonds, lab-grown diamonds, moissanite, and cubic zirconia. Let them kind of see the differences between all those stones because each one is gonna be unique for whatever the client's pur purpose is. So maybe they have a certain budget in mind, maybe they're looking for something in specifically. It doesn't matter. We work with all of our clients and let them make that choice. Okay, so now onto the real test. We're gonna see if you guys can spot the difference between a genuine diamond, lab-grown diamond, moissanite, or a CZ. Let's see how good you guys really are. And then make sure to look in our description below to find out what the correct answers are. So thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. And if you're looking to learn more, let us know and we'll make some more videos about those topics. Have a great day, everyone.